1962 Triumph TR4. It's a 2.1 litre petrol engine, this. It's an IRS car as well. So it is the TR4 IRS, which is for the, excuse me, words in a minute. Independent, Independent rear suspension. God, I couldn't, I, was, I had that in my head, but couldn't work out how to say it. Right. As you'll see, very, very presentable and pretty, this one. It's got what I've been informed by the vendors, something called a subby top on it. So it's basically a targa. You'll see that this hard top here, obviously, it comes off if you want it off. But you've just got a frame in here and your sort of targa top there. So you can lift those out and drive it as a targa or you lift the whole roof off. So it's called a subby top, I've been informed about that one. I've never seen one before. It's the first time, but every day... It's a learning day in this world, that's for sure. So, body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet. It's lovely and straight. The paintwork is a bit hazy in places. You'll see it's sort of a bit flat to the paintwork side of things. The camera's picking up that sort of peel on it. But it's all nice and straight underneath the paint. Nice and tidy, if you can see up there. Lovely and straight. With it being cream you'd see uh, any sort of rust from a mile off but you can see around the window wedge lovely and straight there's a few little bits in the paint itself rubbers are all nice and clear and they're also nice and soft as well they're not really really hard obviously had some proper money spent on it down the front end lovely and clear all the lights are crack free the grill is lovely and straight all the way across the fins we've got Black bumpers, obviously they've been painted, there the, the will be chrome underneath. Uh, black bumpers, not everyone's taste, but I think it looks really good with the black and those lovely chrome wire wheels. As I come around the side, no pit into the chrome work on the right hand wing, lovely and straight. We'll check the left while we're on. Again, nice and presentable. All the indicator side lamp lenses are all lovely and clear as well. As we come around the driver's front wing, on that wheel arch, we're going to go nice and slow so you can have a good look at it. A few little drips in the paint here and there, but like I say, we'll do some dodgy camera work so you can have a look at that inside lip. With it being cream, you'd see any rust from 10 paces back. And on this one, it's not apparent to me at all. Lovely chrome wires all the way around on nice tyres. See that there? Really finish the car off. Sits lovely and level as we come across that lower sill section. Go oh, nice and slow for you there, so you can have a good look at that up the driver's wing. Lovely and straight, but like I say, the paintwork is flat and hazy in places. Sort of notice it more across the tops where you normally get a, a nice shine. This one seems to be a little bit hazy. Nice and straight up the door as we come onto the rear arch. Again, nice and slow around the arch. All lovely and straight around there. When you put your hand underneath the arch, I'm greeted by a nice sharp metal lip. Sometimes on these you put your hand in and you feel like the arch goes all the way back here because they're full of bodge, but put your hand in there and it's a lovely sharp lip. Again, lovely chrome wire wheels all the way around on this one. Down that lovely big swooping rear quarter. All the body lines are lovely and straight as we come up the top. Chrome works good on the wing tops. Around the rear lights, again, chrome works lovely. The light lenses are nice and fresh. There's no cracking in those. Across the rear scuttle, again nice and tidy across the rear scuttle. As you come down the boot again, paintwork is flat, you can see that the camera's picking it up quite easily. Another thing that we're a little bit excited about, and I know it sounds really sad, but if you have a look at how this roof rack, luggage rack's fitted, it actually bolts the existing chrome trims, which is lovely to see because normally People either drill big 13 millimetre holes in the boot or they're on those horrible little suckers that don't last two minutes. And then it bolts to the number plate mountain bracket behind there. So there's been a lot of thought gone into that. Again, even the chrome on the handles nice and fresh. We'll see you've got the black bumpers again with the overriders on the back. Good look round there. All nice and fresh as we come down the left hand side. Got a little bit of a mark in the paintwork there. Tiny little stone chip. Lovely and straight again. The paintwork is flat. I don't know whether a flat and polished will square that away or what it needs. 
but lovely and straight and solid around the left hand rear wheel arch. And again, you put your hand in and you're greeted by this lovely sharp metal lip. Nice little. Have a good look at that wheel and tire again. Down the lower half section on the sill on the left hand side of the come up the door, all nice and straight down the back of that rear quarter onto the door. Chrome work on the handles, it's lovely. And the body line chrome work again, lovely and straight as we come down that left hand front wing. Same again, your hands in there. Nice sharp lip all the way around. A little bit of scuff on this arch here, hardly noticeable. Gotta have your nose touching to notice that. Lovely and straight again down the left hand side. Sit perfectly level this one. Really, really good, presentable, usable Triumph TR4 this one. A little bit of attention to the shine on the paintwork. Sense be price as well. Driver's door card, nice and fresh, no rips or tears not hanging off anywhere. The seat itself is lovely. Got no real wear at all to the bolster or the, or the lower swab. The piping's got a little bit of discoloration on the bottom, but it's in lovely condition throughout. No issues at all with that. Nice black carpet set. Doing its job protecting those underfloor mats. No cracks to the top of the dashboard and no delamination to the wood. You can see the shine on that wood on the dashboard, absolutely gorgeous. All the dials are crack free and crystal clear. Steel wheels lovely as well, a little bit of wear at the top, but very, very presentable, very, very tidy in here around the centre console on the gear stick. All lovely and straight. We'll have a look at the inside of the roof again. You can see that metal frame there. It's lovely and tidy on the inside, no dampness. All unwanted smells in here, into the rear there. Again, even the rear door cards and rear well leather or vinyl is lovely and tidy. No problems at all with that. Into the boot now. Again, lovely and clean in there. I don't think it's ever been dirty, this car. You've got a spare wire. Lovely and straight on the inside of the tub there. No problems at all with that. So go into the engine bay now. Attention to detail sort of carries out throughout here. Have a good look in here. Twin carburetor. Two point one litre petrol. Lovely and tidy in here, even underneath the bonnet. Very, very clean. We'll get it started up now. No issues at all with that, firing straight into life. We've got no hesitation there, no one wanting noises, no rattles, no bangs. We've got to check the oil pressure gauge here. Oil pressure straight up on the 50 there, no nice. issues at all with that. Yeah, straight up there, James. Yeah, happy days. We're coming out the club right aside. Lovely and tidy in there. And there you have it, the Triumph TR4. IRS in cream with the chrome wires ready to be enjoyed for the summer this one ready for show season that very very presentable usable car that one